Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is James Bogwa. So if you're new, just consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. So today I have a real estate system that I want to share with you guys. Just hope that you like it. So we're going to start. I'm just going to come here. And I'm just going to start the server. So I'm just going to run the server right there. So as you can see, the server started at that port. And we're just going to go there. So I'm going to come here. So let me... can have contact with finally login so i want to first of all we check on the back end how it's uh it works and then we'll come back to the front end so i'm just going to hit on login so basically this is the login page where you log in so there is a user that i had created with this username so we're going to log in using this username and again if you forget your password you can always forget password from here so i'm just going to hit sign in okay so basically as you can see we are logged in right now as you can see from here we have the properties we have zero properties so far again we have five users and then we have uh, zero cent mails and we have logs with all five then we have this chat uh, which adjust accordingly the changes that happen to the users logs sent mails properties visitor account and the resources which have been added so maybe to give an overview we're going to start uh, by maybe you can choose the profile from here so clicking on that you can choose a picture that you want uh, assuming i want that picture then clicking on that and then finally i can be able to update so i can be able to update my profile and so forth and so forth so i'm going to go to user, user management so you can see here we have five users so you can be able to like add these particular users if you don't want them anymore so right now we have four you can see we're starting from two up to five again we can be able like to export a pdf file of these users so these are the users like the content editors we can be able to do something so as you can see from here we have this document that uh, is, uh the rest one that's what i'm using here or the others are the the other three users so you can be able to have that also again you can be able to export the users into maybe an excel file as you can see from there and you can be able to open and you can be able to see that so i'm waiting for that file to open okay as you can see from here okay these are the data which uh, you can be able now to work with so that's how you see the users which are registered in your system again if you want uh, to import as many users as you want you can import from here so that's how you import that so again you can be able to enable uh, to make an, a user to be inactive or active from here okay so also you can be able to search like if you want to search gems from here uh, right now you can be able to see that we only have gems so you can be able to do search so i'm going to go to the next one which is system logs here so you can be able to see that basically whatever you will do will be recorded here so as you can see from here remember we have deleted one user so we can be able to see the data that was deleted was this one and then the user who did that was this user uh, this was my account and then it was one minute ago okay so some super users can be able to delete these logs you can be able also to download them from here okay there is an error there i'll fix that so you can be able to delete these logs from here all of them so you have this message you really want to delete these rogs okay so right now you have zero rogs so if i log out and log in again the rog will start uh, being registered maybe you can try that i'm going to hit rog out right there so right now i'm logged out then log in again and then i'm going to hit sign in from here so as you can see from here let me go back to system rogs you can see we have one five seconds ago i uh, just logged in the system and even if you try maybe a wrong password uh, it will be like captured there so basically that's the concept of that drugs again something else is that you can be able like to send a message 
So just record the uh, receiver and then the subject and the content of the message. Okay, so let's start with property categories. Remember, a real estate company have categories of property they deal with. So we can deal with, uh, we can have several. Here, maybe we can add two. So the first one that we can add is prod maybe. And then we can describe something about the prods. So that, 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 that's the first one. So the other one is that maybe we can have, apart from prods, maybe we can say we have houses. And then you give a, a very description, not like mine there. So currently you can see right now we have two categories. So again, we can be able to perform the crude operations from here. We can be able to update, delete, create, so forth and so forth. Again, we can also be able to delete here. So as you can see from here, we have two categories. And if I log out the system and just come here to properties, as you can see from here, we have two uh, categories which I've just started from uh, with you right now. So let me log in back in. So remember right now we have the categories. Now we're going to go to how to add a property. Remember those uh, the categories, a property have three under certain categories. So that's why we started with the category. So I'm just going to hit our properties right there. So currently you see we don't have any properties. You can see the detail that uh, we need uh, to add a property. So I'm going to hit on add new. So clicking on add new, so we require to have a picture. So I'm going to choose a picture, maybe like that. And then I'm going to say maybe this one is a house. Okay, I'm just typing anything. And then if uh, this one is optional, then you can give the size maybe uh, 100 by maybe something like 200. I'm just typing anything. And then the price, maybe in Kenya sharing, so you can say this one is... Uh, uh, maybe something like 1 million and then you can say a discount price you want it to be 800,000 uh, so you have that so I believe that one is uh, uh, 2 and then you have 3 and that's nice and then you can have the property status to be like for sale and then the location you can see it's in Akuru and then this geo location is where by uh, you put a pin coordinate here of a Google map of a press like this one. So this is a press. So if I want to add, to add another press of where this property is located, I could just come here and go to Google Maps. Uh, but right now I'm not connected to the internet. So you just like uh, go and copy that uh, geo coordinate and then you paste it here uh, like that. And then uh, Whenever the user sees this product and clicks, uh, he will be directed to this particular uh, location. Okay, so you can come here if these are priced to maybe a build is 2022. So remember the two categories that we added, they're the ones that are showing from here. So maybe you can click on products right there, and then we can describe this one. Uh, this is, uh, so we give a valid description right there. And then finally, you can have additional info, uh, additional information there. So these one are uh, like uh, optional. So you can have any other business here. So you just can type something there. Maybe the features from there and the features again. Rest the features. So right now we are ready to submit. So if I hit on submit, you can see the property has been added. You see right now we have these properties. And before we do anything else, I'll drag to log out from here. And then come here and then scroll down up to here. So as you can see, this is the property that we have added. And we have said it's a house of a certain category. And then the price was uh, uh, 1 million. And then um, it was reduced to 800. And that's a discount of 20%. And the product have been added 20 seconds ago. And then you can see the pin here. So currently, if I click this pin, it will go to that pin that we added. But right now, you see, I'm not... Uh, like connected to the internet uh, maybe we can connect the internet let me just turn that on so we can continue as we wait for it to be connected so i'm going to come back here to login i, re I think we're good now so if i try to refresh this page so i'm waiting for that to load okay you see like uh, this pin okay let me click here again you see so if i click that it should take us to that particular point of, uh, uh, as you can see from here. So this is the pin that uh, we 
put here so that's why it's uh, going to that particular place okay so me, let me log in back in again okay so let me just disconnect that again so i'm going to hit sign in again okay page expired that's right okay I'm just going to sign in again okay refresh that sorry for that again sign in okay so currently we are authenticated as you can see from here and that's how we add properties but for these properties we might want maybe to have more images than having one image so if you want to add more images we just click on that button and then we can come here and we can select as many images as we want so let me just choose uh, random pictures here so we don't need that one so you just hit control and then you just click like that so currently i have i want to add three more images i just click on open so as you can see we have three files from here and finally we can be able to like save that so if i click on view right here that i you can be able to see that we have this uh like uh four images and if i try to log out right here and then can scroll down up to this property if i click on this property like that and then you can see that uh we come here so we can be able to see that the properties that we have right now so those are the properties that we have and uh, i mean the pictures we have that particular property and then even the prices you can be able to see them there so let me log back in again so i'm going to come here again and then i'm going to like uh, come to our properties so from here we can be able like to edit a product from here and then we just see it on save changes and then it's saved again you can also be able to delete but for this one i'm going to cancel so and also you can be able to like search here and this the number of properties that you have will be shown here so you can always add another properties from here just clicking on that and then you're going to add it it's very possible so that's okay so let's continue to resources so resources you can be able to add resources uh like resources are maybe you have a picture and then you have a description or maybe a file so how do you do that you click on add right there you can have a title maybe welcome maybe i'm just lighting anything and then description you can describe this and then finally you can be able to have like an image there so like that and then finally i'm just gonna hit save so right there so i can remove this one that we had earlier right there we're good to go so if i hit on sign out again and then i come to resources so right there as you can see now we have these resources which we have added so we can be able to do that dynamically in the back end so i'm going to log in back here the same case applies to teams uh testimonials and teams so let me maybe deal with teams so you can be able to add team members from here dynamically like we have this one we can say that the first member and then the name of this one maybe this one is james and then you can give a message and then you just submit that all right the team member has been submitted so if i sign out like that just like that and then i come to the team as you can see from here we can be able to see that particular person have been added and then we can continue doing so with other team members so when i log in back in again oh so we have this right content so if i just log out right there so by right contact is uh, basically this information that shows here so right now you can see we don't have anything we have just a random text so let me log in back in so right here i'm going to come to slide content and then i'm going to edit because we have that one that is existing which is not making sense so coming here maybe you can say welcome to the net so like that and then i'm just going to hit uh, submit so like that let's just log out and see if we can see the changes reflecting on the website so i'm just going to sign out right there so if i come here you can be able to see that the word is pulling up so the same case to apply to here here so if for this slide the first one and the second and then the last one so you can be able like uh, to change them the way we have just changed that one so let me log back in again so clicking on sign in again 
so so we can be able to have like settings whereby we can add the setting the name of the organization the email the log of the organization and then finally we can be able to submit that finally we can be able like to change the password if you want to change the password right here so we just have the old password and the, the new password which you have to confirm like two times so basically that's it <laughs> Nice to